Baba Kama Daf Bet Chilik Al Shir Ches Vemai Eka Ben Av Lechul Lechul Le Nifka Nena Deilu A Avid Avid A Deilu Avid Sheti Avod Bechodi Hadodi Ai Nemai Sheti Toldot Behad Behadi Hadodi Mechayev Akod Choda Vechoda Veilu Avid Av 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 Betolda de de ya de ya de de ya la mechayef la chada and what difference is there between a primary category and a subcategory? The Gemara explains the practical difference is the, the that if one unwilling performs two melachot classified as different primary categories together during a single lapse of awareness or alternatively if one unwilling performs two labors classified as subcategories of two different primary categories together. During a single lapse of awareness, one is liable to bring a chatas for each and every labor that he performed. Each primary category of labor is an independent avayere, while if one unwittingly performs a melacha that is primary category and another labor is classified as a subcategory, during a single lapse of awareness, he is liable to bring only one chatas. Well, Rabbi Eliezer, dem chayv, atolda bemekum af, amai emai keri, amai keri lia af, de amai keri la tolda, 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 hach, hach, vechua, 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 bemishkan, bemishkan, chashiva keri, Keri keri la keri lea af hach de la hoi bemishkan chashiva keri la ha tulda. The Gmur gives the child according to Rabbi Yazir who deems one liable to bring two chatas even if one performs a melacha classified as a subcategory together with a melacha that is, prim- that is, uh, that is its primary category. Why is it one label? Characterizes a primary category and why is the other labor characterized as a subcategory? The Gemur explains of the labors prohibited on Shabbos that which was a significant melacha in the Mishkan de Chochomim characterized it as a primary category, and that which was not significant labor in the Tarin Lag in the Mishkan the Sages characterized as a subcategory. The melachot prohibited on Shabbos derived from the melachot employed in the construction of the Mishkan, therefore their classification is also based on their significance in its construction. Gemur, Gebi, 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 Tumahot Tanun, Avot, Hatumahot, Avot, Hatumahot, Hasharetz, 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 Vehashovot, <laughs> We mishkin, we mishkin, metuma adam, vechulin, vechulin, la, tuma. With regard to tumahot, we learned in the Mishnah in Kalim, that uh, in Dav, in the uh, Kalim, um, in the Mishnah Kalim, the, uh, the avot had to, amot, the primary categories of tuma. Uh, uh, are as follows any of the eight species of the creeping animals enumerated in the Torah and Zera and one who is Tame with impurity imparted by a human head, uh, corpse, a person, a kale or food that is rendered Tame through contact with an item classified as a primary category of Tuma is characterized as a subcategory. In that domain, the subcategories are dissimilar to them as any person of, or item classified as a primary category or ritual Tuma impurifies a person and purifies any kalim with which it comes into contact. While a person or item classified as subcategory of ritual tuma impurifies 
food and drink, but it's not a purified person, a king. Haha mai Amr Rav Papa Yishmehun Kiyotsa Behun Vishmehun Lao Kiyotsa Behun are determining that there are instances where the legal status of subcategories like that of primary categories, for example Shabbos, and there are instances where the legal status of subcategories is dissimilar to that of primary categories, for example Tuma, the Gemur Gipti Shaila. Here, haha, with regard to the loss of damages, mai is the relationship between the primary categories and the subcategories. Raf papa avmer, they are among the primary categories of damage. Some whose subcategories are similar to them, and they are among them, and there are among them some whose subcategories are dissimilar to them. Tenu rabunim shelsha avod neam neameru beshur hakeron hakeron. Vehashun vehargil vehargil. Seeking to clarify Rav Papa's statement, the Gemurah cites a baraita that delineates that delineates the avot categories of damage, the chokhomim tano in the baraita. There, three primary categories of damage were stated in the Torah with regard to an ox. An ox caused damage in three ways, and each is classified as a distinct primary category of damage, represented by a part of the goof of the ox. There's there's the category of goring, kaden, literally horn. This referring to an ox goring person or animal and causing damage, and there's the category of eating, shen, literally tooth, shin, shen. This is referring to one's ox causing damage by consuming another person's produce, and there's the category of trampling, regel, literally food, regel, regel. This is referring to an ox trampling another person's belongings and causing damage. These are classified as primary categories because they are mentioned explicitly in the Torah. Keirun menadun. Keirun menadun. Det no rabunen ki yagach ayin negha ela keirun shenamer veyas lu. Sadika ben Sadika Sadika ben Kenona 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 Kerni Kerni Barcel Beyamer Kaha Kaha Amer Hashem Bela Tenegah at At Arim Begoi Beyamer Bechor Shoru Hadorlu Vekarni Ram Kernif Behem Amim Yin Yen Yangha 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 Yangha. From where do we derive the Gmud elaborates from where do we derive the primary categories of Goring? The sources is the Chomim Totem and Beraita. The Pasuk states that if an oil gores a man or woman, and Goring is performed only with a horn, as it is stated in Sedakia Ben. Chenana made himself horns of iron. Said, "So says the Lord, so says Hashem." With their, the, with these shall you go the Arameans until they are consumed. And the pasuk also states, "His firstborn bull majesty is his, and his horns are the horns of the wild ox. With them he shall go the nations." Mai veavmer vechi tema devri Torah metva metvari. Kabula, 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 the derive Kabula la yel yel finun Tashma Bechor Shoru Hador Lu. The Mur interrupts its citation of the Baraita and the Gitishaile. Mais the purpose of Mais Toma of what what is the purpose of citing the additional Pasuk introduced with the term? And the Pasuk also states, the Gemur answers, and if you would say that the first it's, if Pasuk is cited, it's not a legitimate source, as it is a Pasuk from the pra- Nevi'im, and we do not keme kebu, and we do not kebula, kebula, tar, dvar Torah, matters of Torah from the texts of the tradition, meaning Nevi'im and Ketuvim writings, come and hear Tashma from the Torah. His firstborn, his firstborn bull majesty is his. Vahai melev hoa geloi 
מאלתה בעלמא הורה דנגחה בקרון הורה. The Gemara rejects the possibility that the Toma, a second, pers, a second pasuk, was cited as that the primary category of going cannot be derived from the pasuk from a pasuk in the Nevi'im. But is this halacha? Is, is this a halachic derivation? It is a mere disclosure of the matter that going is performed with a horn. A pasuk in the Nevi'im can certainly serve as a source for that disclosure. Elam mechu de de teima ki. פלג ארחמונה בן תם למועד, למועד. הני מיילי בתלושה בתלושה אבל במחוברות אימה כולה מועדות היא Rather, the Tomal de Baraita cites a second pasuk, as lest you say, based on the first pasuk, that when the Rachmona distinguishes between liability for damage caused by an innocuous ox, for which the owner is liable to pay half of the damages for the first three times that it caused, and liability for damage caused by a four-horned ox, which already caused three times, and whose owner was cautioned to prevent the ox from going, for which he is liable to pay the full damages. That statement applies only to damage caused which with a de- with a detached horn, like the horn of Zedakia described in the pasuk. For example, if an animal has a detached horn in its mouth and caused damage with it, but for damage that an ox caused with a horn attached to its head, say that in all cases the co- the in co- in all cases the legal status of the ox is that of a four horned ox, and its owner is liable to pay for all of the damage. תשמע, בכל שורו הדור לו וגוי. וגוי, וגוי. Therefore the Gemurim, no, I'm wrong. Therefore the Beraita says, תשמע, a proof from another pasuk, his four-spun bull matches his, and his horns are the horns of the wild ox. With them he shall go all the nations. Where the where the references to a horn attached to the ox's head, uh, ox's head, evidently when an ox scores with its own horns, there is a distinction between an innocuous ox and a four-horned ox. Tolda de koron mai chia negifa negifa neshicha ravitsa ravitsa uvai uvai ta uvai ta. The Gemura gives the res- resumes this incitation of the Baraita. What is the subcategory of goring? It includes any action that an ox performs with its goof with the objective on with the objective of inflicting damage, pushing, negifa, biting, crouching upon items with the object objective of inflicting damage, and kicking. Maishena negicha de ke de kori la a. דכתיב כי ירח נעיפה נאמי כתיב כי גוף כי יגוף כי יגוף היי נעיפה נעיחה היה 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 דתניה פתח בנעיפה וסיים 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 בנעיחה נעיחה לומר לך זו היה היה נגפה זו היה היה נגחה. The Gemur gave the Shailah. What is different about goring that is characterized as a primary category of damage? As it is written explicitly in the Pasuk, the Khtif in the Pasuk, and if an ox scores a H or a Sha, accordingly, Negifa should also be characterized as a primary category, as it is the Khtif. If one man's ox hurts, he go off the ox of another. The Gemurah answers, this is this Negifa mentioned in the Pasuk is actually with reference to Goring as it is ten on the Baraita that the Pasuk uh, the Pasukim states. And if one man's ox ye go off the ox of another, or if it is known that the ox was going goring ox was a goring ox in the past. Mm-hmm. Exodus Shemot. The Pasuk began its description of the case with the term Negifa and it's concluded with the term Goring to say to you that in this, this context, the two terms describe the same action. This action is Negifa and this same action is Goring. 
מאיז שנא גבי אדם דכתיב כי יגח כי יגח ומאי שנא גבי בהמה דכתיב כי יגף 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 דימור אגיב תשאל איזה two terms are interchangeable what is different with regard to an ox scoring a person that is דכתיב and if an ox scores a man or woman And what is different with regard to an ox scoring an animal behema that is that is, is that it is written if one man's ox hurts you give the ox of another Adam died Leah Metzela Ketiv Ki Yegach Yegacha Meha Meha Behama Behama Delit La Metzela Ketiv Ki Yeguf The Gemur explains with regard to Adam who has the ingenuity, ingenuity to defend himself and is, is not easily injured. It is dechtiv if an ox scores the term indicating an attack of greater force. With regard to a behemoth which does not have the ingenuity to defend itself and is more easily injured, it is dechtiv if an ox hurts yeguf, a term indicating an attack of lesser force. The term yeguf is Related to the term magifa, meaning plague, the Torah employs the term with regard to the growing of a behemoth to indicate that when an animal is scored, regardless of the force of the blow, it will likely result in its death. מועד לבהמה במועד לבהמה לבהמה לה הורי מועד מועד לידם. And the Torah tell, you, uh, uses one of these terms and the Torah's use of these terms teaches us a matter in passing because the effort required for the ox to gore a person to death is greater than the effort required for the ox to gore an animal to death. The haluch is that an ox that is forewarned with regard to goring an adum, adam, a man, and a person, is also forewarned with regard to behemoth. But an ox that is forewarned with regard to behemoth is not forewarned with regard to a person. Neshecha tolda deshun haya la shun יש הנע להציקה להציקה העין הנע להציקה. תגמור גיבתי שקווישנס דה קלסיפיקיישן אוף דה בריטה אוף בייטינג קראוצ'ינג אנד קיקינג א סאפ קטריס אוף גורינג. איזן בייטינג א סאפ קטרי אוף איטינג אז דה אנימל בוט איטס אנד בייטס וויט איטס טיף. תגמור אנסס לה In case including the primary category of eating, there is pleasure for the behemoth and the cause of its causing damage. In this case of damage caused by biting, there is no interest intrinsic pleasure for the animal. In the cause of the damage that it causes when the ox bites forcefully, the exclusive object of the auction, uh, action is to cause damage. Ravitsa Ravitsa Ovaita Toldot דה רגל חיה לה רגל הצקה קצוי הני עין הציקון מאווי 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 תגמור גבתי שיילה Aren't crouching upon, aren't crouching upon items and kicking items in order to damage them each subcategory of trampling? As the animal crouches by batting its legs and kicks with its feet? תגמור גבתי אנסס נו <laughs> no, la. In case including the primary category of trembling, the damage is commonplace, as this caused in the course of the animal's walking. In these, cause, in these cases of crouching, kicking, the damage is not commonplace, as behemoth do not typically kick or crouch upon utensils. Ela toldo teichun la kiyotza bechun deamer ra papa אך, אך היה, אך היה, אך היה. After signing the subcarries list in the Barat, the Gemurah resumes its analysis of the statement of Rav Papa. With regard to the statement that Rav Papa said, there are among them some whose subcarries are dissimilar to them to which primary carries was Rav Papa referring. 
to them to which primary category was that of was that of papak referring ailima achoni mai shena keron de khoin to de khoyen to de kho de khoen to de khoen to le hatsik be mamun kha be mamun kha beshmer to beshmer to ail hani mai kuan kuan thun kuan thun le hazik be mamun kha be mamun kha beshmer thun ail ail kha if we say that his referring was to the subcategories of going what is different about going that defines it as a unique primary category what's different in that is that that the objective of the ox actions is to cause damage and the ox is your property and the responsibility for its safeguarding to prevent it from causing damage it's incumbent upon you its owner in these subcategories of going mean pushing negifa biting crouching and kicking as well the objective of the oxens are auction of, of the oxes or actions is to cause damage and the oxen and the oxen are your property and responsibility for the safeguarding to prevent your your oxen from causing damage is incumbent upon you ela tolda de korun ke 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 korun ke korun vkhi ke amar rab papa eishun beragd rather it is apparent that the status of a subcategory of goring is like that of this primary 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 category of goring and when of papa amar they are among them some sub subcategories that are similar to them he was referring to eating and trampling shun veragel haikha ke tv Deathniah <laughs> The Gemurgi of the Shad were eating and trampling the thief in the Torah that led them to be classified as primary categories. The Gemurgi answers, the source is as the Chochomim told in the Baraita, the Pasuk states, if a man calls a field or vineyard to be eaten, and he sends forth his animals, and it consumed, and it, is, and it consumed in the field of another. The two parts of the Pasuk are referring to different categories. And he sends forth. This is referring to the primary category of trampling as sending forth results in the animal, trampling another's produce, and damaging it. And likewise, it states, Happy are you that so beside all waters that send forth the feet of the ox and the donkey. Nishaya. Clearly, the term sent forth is a reference to the trampling by the feet that are glue and behemoth. Ovar, ovar, zu, hashun, vechun. Hua Avmer Kasher Yevar Kasher Yevar Kasher Yevar Hara Hagelal 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 At Temu and it is consumed. This is a reference to the primary category of eating, and likewise it states, and I will utterly, utterly sweep away the bed Yerovam as one consumes with the tooth until it all be gone. Ich glaube, ich habe solche Gewinne zu lernen bei Gemurren.